Well, now on to some positive news for your day. Beautiful, abundant sunshine expected once again. Yesterday, can you believe it? We hit a high of 87 degrees. That is well above our average of 79 and not too far away from our actual record high temperature. Fond du Lac and Wapaka rising to 91 degrees while into Appleton, a cool, 84. <laughs> this morning we are, though, starting off much cooler than a lot of our neighbors. Chicago at 72, Minneapolis, even International Falls is 10 degrees warmer than us here into Green Bay. Gorgeous first light of the day out there as temperatures start off into those upper 50s to low 60s into the Northwoods and here into Green Bay, then down into the Fox Valley and Lakeshore into those mid to upper 60s as you step out the door this morning. It is a bit muggy and also quite foggy as well because those winds are not moving to help mix that fog on out of here. So visibility greatly reduced, especially in a Sheboygan down to a quarter of a mile there. Zero mile visibility into Antigo, three quarter of a mile visibility here into Green Bay and Oconto. Now Fonds du Lac and Sheboygan are in a dense fog advisory until nine o'clock this morning. Once that burns off, we will see beautiful, abundant sunshine. Even that wildfire smoke is starting to lessen here this morning and the weather system still in place like they've been for the past few days. They start to shift a little bit today, but not much noticed as for our afternoon. Beautiful sunshine, a few passing clouds building. We could see a light shower by the lake shore as some of that lake breeze starts to move on off. But overall today, another muggy one as dew points go into those mid 70s. So our actual heat index, once you factor in the humidity and the high temperatures, feeling like 90 out there today. Now tonight we'll start the night off clear, then we'll see increasing cloud cover by tomorrow morning as this low pressure system in this cold front starts to aim right here at us right for our Saturday afternoon. So we are looking at a chance for some thunderstorms. Nothing severe, but we will see some scattered showers here through the late morning hours. Then by about 12, we'll see some thunderstorms fire up till about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Then those start to push over Lake Michigan and should leave us alone. So in terms of the Packers preseason game tomorrow afternoon, we should be in the clear definitely by halftime and through the rest of the game. For your tail Gating, you might see a trace of rain to a quarter of an inch come down on you. And overall, we're going to see a beautiful Sunday there. After that, things calm down, dew points drop, and sunshine and comfortable temperatures for your Sunday. But for today, soak up the summer-like temperatures, right? Highs into those upper 80s. Then tonight, staying muggy, getting breezy as temperatures fall to the upper 60s to low 70s. And by tomorrow, same thing. Heat still in place, but a breezy south wind as that cold front approaches us, bringing us some after afternoon showers. Beautiful Sunday though with a high of 77 degrees, mostly sunny skies, comfortable dew points, a good day to do some grilling and hang outside with family and friends. As we push into next week, we are going to see those temperatures rising back to the 80s, getting humid once again, and chances for a few more scattered showers and storms with a little bit more active weather pattern headed our way. I know talking about grilling, we grilled out earlier this week and you know what? It's great to be able to do that. Yeah, just all the way we, through. I wish we could bottle it up and save it for those negative 30 degree days and just <laughs> cut it out, you know? Right. <laughs>